Hello everyone, welcome back to What Line Topics. As it is today, everywhere you turn to on social media platforms, you see that lots of Nigerians and celebrities are in a money state. And many Yoruba actors, Tony Abraham, Daya, Amusa, a lot of them are calling out for justice. A few days ago, the cousin of a little boy, Sylvester Romani, took to social media to lament his death. And he said the deceased mentioned the names of some students in the school who beat him up. For refusal to join a cult group in a secondary school. The school later came up with a press release denying that such happened in their school. The management said the boy only sustained injuries while playing football with his colleagues and was promptly treated before being handed over to his family. However, many Nigerians and parents are calling out the school and the government that this little boy did not pass out from any football injury. The Yoruba Chester Hebram called on the Lagos State Governor Baba Jide Sonwulu to do the needful. And she questioned why they would beat a child in such a manner to the point of the child losing his life. The actress added that looking at the deceased picture made her sad, expressing displeasure on how a handsome, healthy boy would just go like that because of the wickedness of his peers. And according to this actress, the incident saddens her heart as a mother, human being, and a Nigerian, adding that many young people are dying in this country. In other words, how do you beat a child to the point of death? How do you wake up to the reality that the living child you sent to school is returning to you as a corpse? Governor Sohulu, Jide Sohulu, Lagos State Education, please do the needful. People need to start talking. The one college need to do better than the press release. Looking at this picture above made me really sad. How can this healthy, handsome boy be dead because of wickedness of his peers raising these monsters in most boarding houses? Why are the officials employed to look after these boys? I'm sad as a mother. I'm sad as a woman being, and I'm sad as a Nigeria. Why are too many young people dying, especially in this country? The Yoruba actress Daya Musa also hashtag justice for Sylvester and called out the government again. And she said, a child died. A young, healthy 12 years old child died. I just watched a shocking video of the young 12 years old student, Sylvester Roman. I have never seen such pain and agony before. Deeply, deeply sympathize with Silvetta Romani's family. There are no words that can bring him back or take away the agony he faced. The Yoruba actress Ambibala Thomas also shared her own and said, I tried following the story from different angles. And I said that there is nowhere safe anymore, not even schools. Money, they say, is the root of all evil. The when college top officials has been bought by the parents of the perpetrators. Simply put, and we can't be quiet. Adunia Adewale, among other celebrities, also asked for justice and lent her voice. And she wrote, Why would a child have such a reaction on his lips? Mouth bleeding, throat swollen, have the cultures and breathing, not being able to move his hands from a slight accident or playing soccer, let to have the fear of God within us. Parents, always believe your children. Never allow someone else to dictate who your child is. If he says he was bullied, damn it, he was. Why would the school remove the students? Sylvester mentioned out of school, if it was a lie. Courtism in secondary school, something it's handed on. Absolutely barbaric. Hope the law doesn't waste much time in doing the needful. Hope a proper investigation has started. Hope these other children have been detained and have been questioned. I hope the school has been shut down while all this goes on. May his soul rest in peace. And I read one of the students allegedly accused jump defense. In a secondary school, this is shocking. This is just too sad. Rest on Sylvester. Well, as it is, the Lagos State Government has ordered the indefinite shutdown of Doan College Lekki, pending investigations into the passing of the student, Sylvester Romani Jr. Bumiti Rala also lent her voice on this course and she shared a picture of the young boy and wrote her the story and have been so restless, sad and not coordinated. How dare you call this injury from football? Oh my God, what is happening to our schools? We demand justice for this poor boy. Justice for Sylvester. Gone were the days teaching was a passion driven profession. These days, a lot of teachers are in that profession just so that they have a job. How can you be a teacher and not accountable? Our children need safe environments for learning. We need to flush hunger driven persons or persons who parade themselves as teachers. We need those with passion for the job who will be accountable, who will care and teach our children. Teach in its real sense, not negligence. Also, the Yoruba actress, Madame Shadeshed, on her official social media platform, My Heart Bleed. Doe school, please. The world needs explanation. We want to know what happened to him. 
And the actress Bukola Awoyemi also shared Almighty God of Children, please step in. He will hold in the hearts of his family. Please save our land from evil in Jesus' mighty name. Justice for Sylvester. And today, the governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Songulu, asked tax parents to pay close attention to the morality of their children and words to avoid breakdown of peace and security in this nation. And the Lagos State government has also sympathized with the family of Sylvester Romani, the student of Duane College in Lekki, who sadly passed on, as mentioned earlier, from injuries allegedly sustained from the beating by his colleagues that wanted him to join their secret court. The state governor also promised to investigate the matter. A statement released by the spokesman of the Ministry of Education, Ganyu Lawa, said the government was in touch with the parents of this boy. And the statement read in part, the Lagos state government sent its condolences to the parents of 12 years old Sylvester Romani Jr. A student of Dorman College, Lekki, the Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Falashade Adefisayo, noted that this incident is shocking and the state is indeed sad about this great loss. A delegation comprising top-level management of relevant ministries, departments and agencies and the police has visited the school on a fact-finding mission. The state government is in touch with the parents in this difficult time. We will assure the family of the late Sylvester Romani Jr. and the Lagosians at large that efforts are being made to unravel the circumstances leading to his demise. Even as he retreated the government's commitment to child protection, meanwhile, it has emerged that the Lagos State government will probe Sylvester on Romani's death. Speaking to Vanguard, an official of the Ministry of Education who spoke in confidence because he was not authorized to speak on the matter, said the government would definitely act on the matter. And in his words, the state government is aware of the matter. And all the issues so far raised, we have also seen the various videos being circulated. The government will soon come out with its position on the matter. All students in Lagos, whether in private or public schools, or our own, we must take care of their interests. As at now, some preliminary steps have been taken on the matter, and the authorities of the affected school are cooperating by giving the necessary information. It is only the parents of the boy who can confirm some of the things that have gone online, that the videos of the boy was being treated. Whatever it is, be rest assured that the matter is going to be thoroughly investigated. So today has been really a sad day for many people in this country, Nigeria, as a month of passing of this little boy. And Yoruba actors and actresses, including Tony Abraham, Dayo Musa, and many of them are calling out for justice.